heard there was a new hospital in town. Guess what we're doing today? Hey guys how are all of you doing on this wonderful day, you may have noticed that we are not in my house and we are also not in Dr. Oswald his lab, plus we are not anywhere near an elevator. So you should be wondering, sub where in God his name are you? Well children, I am in heaven. No I am kidding with you, I am just strolling around in another town today. You know trying to break the slur, a man has got to do what a man has got to do boys and girls. Today we will be heading to the Meep Hospital. I will be doing an undercover inspection of the hospital so you guys have to be like really silent. I mean like really silent. You cannot make a sound because then the whole operation will be done for. So I just want you to stop talking right now and enjoy this moment we are having together. Alright, those that sound good great. So I am looking for this hospital, but they did not give me an address which would come in handy to find the darn thing. Because right now I would not have the slightest clue of where this hospital is located. I would truly appreciate any tips where could it be I already checked a couple of different directions without success I might add but that will not stop us I mean we did not even start the inspection and we are already struggling that is a little bit out of character for sub-zero we cannot just give up before we started so where can a guy find the hospital oh there it is look at that ask and you shall receive so let us try and get inside to start the inspection shall we so why a hospital you might ask well i have no idea the federal bureau of investigation also known as the fbi is investigating some weird cases that have been happening in and around this hospital so hence the name i come to investigate which could be exciting we might be able to uncover some deep secrets about this hospital like maybe it is haunted because it is built on an old mass grave or maybe the board is just corrupt so we are here as an ill person let's say i broke my leg that should do so now we can roam around freely without any problem because we look like we are supposed to be in the hospital stumbling around will make it a little bit harder but that will not matter because we are not here to apprehend anyone we are just here to take a peek into the daily activities of this hospital even the post natality care unit seems to be all right but that is just one of many units we need to cover on today's patrol so as you know i am undercover as someone who has broken his leg this way we can get clearance to some units that visitors cannot come because you know visitors cannot just go anywhere they want because they look out of place pretty quickly but when i pretend that i am an ill person i can just roam around wherever i feel like because i am sick when people are sick they are supposed to be in the hospital so right now i do not look out of place which comes in handy for my mission though i wonder what kind of dirt we can uncover about this hospital but hold up here i think i might have like a super duper good idea right here as a doctor that would even make it easier good god i am so smart i keep amazing myself from time to time but let me tell you about my time in the fbi academy it was hard you know it is like in the movies a lot of field training a lot of courses you have to follow and a lot of tracks you have to complete within a certain amount of time i was definitely not one of the best in the academy starting out but i got myself together and i was able to end on the top of my class i can still recall how proud they all were of me who would not be right but like i said a lot of heavy duty courses needed to be followed we had a lot of physical training but also a lot of mental strength training because when you have to go undercover you need a great amount of mental fortitude to keep on going this time we are undercover in a hospital but maybe next week the fbi sends me out to go undercover in some kind of gang look at this now that would be terrible because i don't really like those gangs because there's always more of them than there are of you you, you know because you would be alone in a case like that no gang stuff is nothing for me although i'll admit i did it once but that didn't end all too well or maybe worse they might want to get me undercover at mc donald's so you might be wondering why do you need to take so much physical tests well as a special agent you need to be prepared for a ton of situations you know like when you join the navy you know that you will be doing a lot on warships when you join the air force you know that you will mainly be coming in from the skies but as an fbi special agent you never know what your job description is going to be one day you might go undercover but the other day they might send you halfway across the world to do some diplomacy work in the middle east so they train you to be very flexible and ready for every circumstance which is really hard 
Believe me, your physical state has to be on par with athletes to complete this part of the training. Then again you will also need to be really book smart to get your degree as special agent because since it is a government agency, there is a but load of paperwork involved in your practice. And let me tell you that when you are done with all that stupid paperwork your fingers will really 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 hurt. It is a lot, but it is all worth it. So as you can see, the physical part is where they put in the most effort in the beginning of your training. But later on, once you pass the physical training, you will move on to the classrooms, which are interesting you know. You get a lot of classes, like psychology, because in some branches of the FBI you will have to be able to study the human behaviors really good to kind of counter some kind of terrorism, or serial killers and the whole shablam. But they also teach you a lot of politics because sometimes you will need to go to a foreign country on a diplomacy mission. So you will have to study all the ethics in a lot of countries that the United States are friends with. Like basically the whole continent of Europe for example. There are a lot of different cultures that you will need to learn all about. So there is a lot you need to account for when you are considering to join the FBI. But you do not have to join the FBI specifically. You can also join the CIA. The Central Intelligence Agency. You can see the FBI as the defenders on the home front, and the CIA as the defenders who go behind enemy lines to ensure the safety of US citizens. But enough about that. We are here on a mission, I got briefed about this particular mission a week ago. The chief called me in his office and told me I would need to do some snooping around in this hospital because they had gotten ears on some suspicious activities that have been going on around here. Including one case where the victim told us that a doctor hit him on the knee with a tiny metal hammer. He told us that he thought he was going to die because that tiny metal hammer was icy cold. I cannot understand how that must have felt for the poor guy. You expect these doctors to care for you not bring you more pain and sorrow. Once you get here you have suffered enough. It should be all healing and smooth sailing from the moment you enter these hospital doors. Because I heard that a while back ago someone told me that there was going to be a new hospital which would fix you if you just walked through the front door. At first I didn't really believe it. Actually I didn't believe it for one bit but I mean look at this. It looks like it's working very well. I wonder with all of these doctors around here, who have been taught to practice in ethical practices, how could it be that so many people are complaining about this hospital? I mean, I should know. I also studied medicine back in the day. These doctors should have been taught that they cannot in one way harm their patients, or make their conditions worse on purpose. And it seems like that does not seem to matter to any of these doctors. Look at these guys. They are yelling at visitors, and are just plain rude to each other and to the patients. That is not the way this is supposed to go. They do not even notice that I am not a real doctor here. You would expect that they would get to know their staff, but also that does not seem the case in this hospital. I will have to report all of this to my unit chief ASAP. Because this hospital is practicing in illegal and unsafe procedures who are not safe for the patients and for the doctors themselves. And if there's anyone you would want to keep safe in a hospital it's the doctors because they need to fix everyone up you know? For all I know this patient is not even alive anymore. He seems to be all chilled out on his bed, but that could be because he is over sedated, or because he has passed away. He seems kind of pale for a white guy, but that should not matter. We are here to treat the patients, not harm them in any way. I will avenge all of the patients that have been mistreated in this hospital, which seems like the best thing to do. I could be the hero of all of these patients, which would be pretty worthwhile. I would just tell my boss what is going on around here. The FBI will then close this hospital, and I will have avenged thousands of patients. That seems like the easiest hero status ever. That might actually be a record. Look at that, becoming a hero to the mistreated, and also breaking a record while doing so. Because you know, I love breaking records. Oh no, did that woman just faint? I need all available doctors into the ER right away. We have a woman that we need to save from the brink of death. I will not let the Grim Reaper take you to his special place. This is not that kind of day. I need more medical personnel in this room right away. We cannot let this patient down. Come on people where is my backup? This woman is dying. Sophie please, I will save you. Do not worry, I will not let you go down without a fight. But you need to get up for me Sophie. Gather all of you strength and try to get up. This is your personal battle with the Reaper. He will not come for you if he sees that you are strong enough. The Grim Reaper is a coward. He only comes for the sick and ill. I will not let you be one of those. Good now that you are up we will go and get you a room. 
please follow me and take one of these outfits that are planted on the wall. They are specifically designed for patients in the most fashionable way so you should be good. Actually I'm just kidding they look very stupid so if you don't want to wear it I totally feel you. I had to wear it once and I looked very bad in it so feel free to keep it off. It might not be the most fashionable garment. But it is something. Alright I guess you are not in any way or form required to wear those clothes. But it would be better to check you out in those. Now please lay down for me so I can start and do some checks. I really want to find out what is wrong with you. Not that there is anything wrong with you per se. I want to find out why you are in pain and why you were fainting in the ER just a minute ago. There has to be something wrong with your heart or your brain, maybe even your lungs or your stomach. But I will run some tests to find out what it is that is happening to you, and I will rescue you from the pain. It does not seem like she is responding to me in any way. Maybe she fainted again. Or maybe it is because Derpy is jumping on her face. That might be one of the reasons why she is in pain. Good work sub, you make one fine doctor. These analyses are 10 out of 10 work man. Let's run some more tests to find out what exactly is making her faint. I mean please Derpy get off of Sophie her face. Good god why are you even in my operating room? You really shouldn't be in this room because this is where all the important stuff happens and what you are currently doing I wouldn't consider important so please leave this room. So Sophie does not seem to remember anything that has happened, and for some reason she said is about to pass out I mean I can see that. I am a doctor for crying out loud. But it must be because she is getting delusional. I should start her on some IV. She might be dehydrated. That is a common reason for fainting and delusions. So please kids, stay hydrated. I know it is getting colder out, at least if you live in the northern hemisphere. But always stay hydrated. And then especially for my Australian and South American buddies, when it is hot out, always make sure to drink a lot of water. Take some advice from your favorite doctor, Dr. Sub-Zero. There are no doctors around to help me. Oh great doctor please help me with my patient. C has been passing in and out of conscience for the better part of 5 minutes. I am desperate. I cannot find out what is wrong with her. I already put her on some IV but it does not seem to work yet. Also a quick question doctor, completely unrelated to my patient. But why in God his name is there someone break dancing in my OR? This is a respected hospital. We cannot have this kind of unprofessionalism around here. Someone will have to remove this breakdancing rascal from my OR right now. We cannot patch Sophie up if she keeps interrupting our work. Don't you guys think this is like super duper annoying? Like would be able to focus on a surgery if someone was dancing on your table all the time? Or actually, break dancing in the room all the time. It just doesn't make sense and it really makes me lose a whole lot of focus if you know what I'm saying. I'm sure some of you know what I am talking about right? Now the medicine. Oh it is right there? Thank you very much. You have now been promoted to doctor. I am kidding I do not have the power to do that. I am actually an undercover FBI agent. I should not even be in the OR myself. But this is all for the better. I will heal this patient. I promise. Alright people everyone please stay calm. I will need to insert this medicine with the highest accuracy no to mankind. Usually they let computers do this, but my hand is as steady as a rock. Come on Sophie. You can do this, get yourself back together, so you can go back home to your family and your dog. If you have a dog, I honestly do not know I just met you 10 minutes ago. This medicine is not working, you will need to get another medicine. We will just pump her up with different kinds of medicine until she wakes back up. I will also try to sing her a Taylor Swift song. If that is not the best way to heal then I do not know what is. In all of my years in medicine I have no encountered one person that did not brighten up when hearing a Taylor Swift song. They are just too good. That is one way to keep the Grim Reaper away. Please let this medicine work. This has to work. We are in some serious trouble if this does not work. Sophie please wake up. And Derpy please. I just told you to get your butt off of the operating table. Why can you not listen? Oh wait you are deaf? Alright I did not know that. I am so sorry. Oh and you are also blind? Dear God you have not been handed a good hand in life. Good lord. Now please Sophie get up. I mean I tried my best. I told you I would not let the Grim Reaper get to you. But that means that you have to wake up. I know that life is not fair. But as the best fake doctor around here, there must be a way for you to get up. Please, do it for me. I have been dying to get you better. I promise you that Sophie. Sophie? Yes she is alive. I mean I knew that. Because I am a great doctor. But still, she is alive. I cannot believe it. 
I rescued her. I do not even care about what this hospital did anymore. I care about Sophie and she is alright now. That is what is important. So please people, if there is anything wrong with you, go to your hospital. And if you enter the hospital and you know I work there, which I probably don't but hey who knows right. But be sure to ask for sub the doctor because I'm here to help all of you.